Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your timeless reading. It applies when you are drawn to watch it. It's not date-specific. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Pisces, off-camera, to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the Devil. This can be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is extra energy. It can be a toxic energy. It represents temptation and limitations. You might be chained by wrong choices. This is could bring discontent depression, or illness, could be bondage to the material, or a sensation divorced from understanding. It's having to face your demons. This can be a challenge of repression and of illusions. It may be an oppressive situation that's controlling you or a situation around you. It would bring illusions of helplessness. Often this represents a sexual relationship that has become obsessive or destructive. This can refer to a person with power over another or overdoing something too much. This can be a pleasure-seeking couple with lust, addictions, emotional games. It's serving what enslaves you, and you'll need to place boundaries against users and takers. This is the trickster. It's detrimental. This can be a negative relationship with deep denial. You'll need to accept the restrictions of the current situation. This is experiencing restrictions or acting in ways that impede your growth, struggling with or denying addiction or depression, or projecting your faults onto others. This is... The card has the lovers in here. This can be an affair, on a choice on how to love, or it could be loving unconditionally or with conditions. It's enslavement or freedom. Your second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Ace of Wands, Pisces. Fire energy. This is a new beginning. It's full of creativity and inspiration. Could be conception or birth. It's ignition. It's a new beginning of enterprises and business and arts. This is... Extra high passion in relationships being next to the devil card. This is high passion, excitement, and fun. This is, you may have started something new or you're working on an old project that will finally bear fruit. And you can find the answer in the doing and show who you are and what matters to you by seizing the day. Could be vitality and growth. This is the message of instincts and action, power, success, adventure, and all that makes our heart beat quicker. This card could also represent an adrenaline rush. Here it is between the devil and the lovers, pleasure-seeking couple, very high passion. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. It can be your attitude. Number six of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the lovers. This can be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a soulmate card. You learn and grow through each other. This is the Angel Raphael. That's the angel of the air and communication. This can be to do with this a relationship with temptation and choice can be the struggle between sacred and profane love. It's the balance between physical desire and spiritual needs. This can be help from a lover or a friend. You'll need to ask with your heart and choose the best version of yourself because you're at a critical place in your life and a decision with a love relationship is at a crossroads. You may need to heal a rift. This is a you are about to evolve into a higher plane of understanding. 
You'll need to communicate openly and honestly, and that will create harmonious and fulfilling relationships built on trust and respect. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the advice, the results, the four of swords, Pisces, air energy, getting a needed rest from the, perhaps that adrenaline rush. This is recuperation and gathering up your strength. There'll be healing. You might want to keep some of your plans to yourself. Soon this is a change for the better, and there's going to be a rela relaxation of anxiety, even a vacation. Or you might want to seek an expert for advice. This is incubating ideas, taking time for a break and to retreat to a quiet place to recuperate. Could be recuperating from an illness or working through a problem to get some fresh ideas. But this is a needed rest to gain back your strength, and you should be taking it easy. And stop and settle your spirit in order to rest after a hard time or lots of physical activity. This is taking a period to, to think things over. Meditating. Allowing yourself some peace and quiet and taking time to relax. Taking life easy. There is a silver lining to this card because it's you that it's in control. This is a card that stabilizes the wounds that were received in the Three of Swords, and you're recovering your strength. Maybe you were apart for a while. This is the end of conflict. Conflict from drama. You'll just need to get some more sleep. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, Earth Energy. This card represents a stable home and a legacy. Could be inheritance or a settlement. It's a solid and secure life. It's a monetary gain. It's enjoying the fruits of labor. It can also represent a house or a dwelling with security and material comfort. Wealth and social standing, permanence, physical security. Conventional thinking, the establishment. This is a completion. It's a card of traditions. Could be a holiday. This can also be a very special partnership. This can be thinking back to the way your elders would have solved a problem. Someone that is wise beyond their years. It symbolizes financial stability and firm foundations for home and family life can also suggest a property acquired for the founding of new generations or traditions being passed down. Passed down in the family with a feeling of continuity. Family is supportive. It's trusting what worked in the past will in the future. This, there's had to been discipline. This is a solid foundation. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. You've got Appreciation, Divine Helpers, card number 40, Appreciation. Has to do with family, collective society, and community. Very interesting because the Ten of Pentacles is the same. Now is an important time to contemplate your place in the world. Pay attention to your influence on others and note that you're a part of a big community. Recognize your interactions with those around you, and respect the fact that no matter how well you may succeed on your own, you must still depend on others in a myriad of ways for your comfort and security. You're aware of this every time you switch on the light and enjoy instant electricity or turn on a faucet and have clean drinking water at your disposal. Your divine helpers are present to remind you to appreciate your fellow human beings and take nothing for granted. Recognize your needs for others and the unspoken gifts they share with you. Move beyond your self-interests right now and participate in a common effort. Ask yourself how you might contribute to the greater good. Your divine helper's message, be responsible for your part in the great scheme of things. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, 
What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.